January 19, 2012 was a significant day in Washington. Yesterday, I traveled from Renton, Washington to Bellingham, Washington to be with Jason Hubbard and Light of the World Prayer Center, where they were shooting a documentary on the Whatcom County story. Operation Rolling Thunder is a significant On January 19th, we had the governor declare a state of emergency. Three counties in our state because of the severe winter weather storm that hit. And yesterday, as we were, uh, before filming the documentary, where we were introducing and, and sharing the role that Operation Rolling Thunder played in Whatcom County, uh, Jason asked me what I thought. And the scripture that came to mind was out of Job 37. It says this, God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall upon the earth, and likewise to the gentle rain and heavy rain of his strength. He seals the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. The beasts go into dens, and they remain in their lairs. From the chambers of the south comes the whirlwind, and from the cold, the scattering winds of the north. By the breath of God, ice is given, and the broad waters are frozen. Also with moisture he saturates, the he scatters clouds. his bright clouds, and they swirl about, being turned by his guidance, that they may do whatever he commands them on the face of the whole earth. He causes it to come, and this is the key part, whether for correction, or for his land, or for mercy. Now what's unique about yesterday was that, I, once again, it was a place where God sent me to begin to speak about Operation Rolling Thunder. Jason and the team in Whatcom County have been the finest example of the application of Operation Rolling Thunder in a community and the fruit and the effects of it. And we've seen the Least Church County in 2005 add 75 new congregations in just six years. It's a 70% growth rate in what was the Least Church County in the U.S., in addition, they set records for adoptions three years running. We also lead the state with the lowest number of abortions. And I could continue going down the statistics that show what happens when God's abiding presence comes. But there was so much more than happened that yesterday because it just so be, happened to be the time where the Lord had me release once again the strategy of Operation Rolling Thunder and speak about it. And on that day, another sign and wonder occurred. What was significant that provides the context for this uh, sign and wonder is that uh, recently our governor announced their position and what the intent was of our civil government to do with the case of marriage. They are trying to change the definition of marriage, which is different from God's. They are violating the jurisdiction. Civil government has no right, no place to be defining what God ordained and God set up. What you create, you have the ability to legislate. And marriage was not created by civil government. Thousands upon thousands of years ago. So God sent his word for correction. He sent his word also. He gave that sign to mark a message in that he wants his church in Washington State and beyond. In every city, he wants his church to create a place for his abiding presence. And Operation Rolling Thunder is a way for the body of Christ and the community to work together to position themselves to hear the thunder of God's voice. Because his voice comes, his decisions come for mercy and for correction. Either or, it depends upon how we respond. He gives wisdom to know what we should do in these uh, challenging times. So the question is, will you hear the thunder of God's voice. Our Heavenly Father, the issue is not the sign and wonder. The issue is what the signs point to. The signs point to this fact. Our Father wants in every community, every city, He wants an ongoing continual prayer, praise, and worship like David did to invite His abiding presence. Our Heavenly Father desires His councils to be formed representing the church and religion, business, government, media, education, health care, and the family, and every sphere represented because He's called people to every one of those spheres to, to transform it, to change it. And right now we need righteous people to rise up to pray and intercede, but also to act in faith. I'm believing God and asking the Lord that we would see churches, the church in all 39 counties of Washington State this year, engage and utilize Operation Rolling Thunder to mobilize and connect the body of Christ with the National Day of Prayer to Global Day of Prayer and then maintain it all year round. All it takes is 31 churches, each one committing to one day, pray 24-7 in that month. Cooperating together, we can do it just like that. All it takes is that cooperation and honor. So I'm praying 
Will you engage with us in 2012 in Washington State and beyond for Operation Rolling Thunder? Will you be one of the ones who is God's called to establish that canopy of prayer in your city? Will you be the ones that are calling the leaders together in your city? If not you, then who? And if not now, then when? Will we hear the thunder of his voice?